Hey there, so you want to improve your stream this 2021? Well, let me share with you five tips that I have learned that has helped me grow my Twitch channel in the past year. Let's do this. Now, before we get into it, I just want you to know that I stream over on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. If you want to talk about these things in an in-depth kind of way, feel free to jump in and join in on the conversation. I'll leave the link to that down in the description below. So let's start at the very beginning of your streams. So a majority of the people that I know who streams has a stream starting soon seen. This is the very first thing that your early viewers will see. And if you're one of the people that has a static looking scene, then let me help you out. How you can improve upon this is you add movement into your scenes. In my case, I stream a game called VR Chat, and that game is just filled with different worlds and aesthetic scenes. So I thought, I'll just use these. And so I did. But if you stream a different category, it can be some IRL footage that you have just lying around. Or it can even be some stock footage that you can find online. Or better yet, it can be some gameplay that you can record off stream. Having movement in your scene can make the start of your streams feel more dynamic and can build up some excitement before you even start streaming. Next up, let's talk about your actual stream scenes. So honestly, all I have to say about this is very, very, very simple. Don't use too much overlays that take away from you and your gameplay. If you're a streamer that has a bunch of different overlays on their screen, I urge you to clean those up and make it a more pleasant experience for your potential viewers. Just keep it simple. Hey there, Doomy from the future here. I uh, can't help but to realize something while I was editing this video. I've realized that there could be exceptions to this specific tip. An example of this case is if your overlays are part of what makes your stream unique. Still though, a little bit too much of something can be bad at times. It's your job to determine how to balance these stuff uh, for the benefit of the people who are watching you at home. So yeah, back to the video. So number three on our list is interaction. This is one of the things that a lot of streamers struggle with and honestly, one of the most common mistakes that streamers do. They tend to focus more on their gameplay rather than the people talking in chat. Don't do that. If you're a person who's just starting out the stream, then talking to the people in chat is one of the most vital things if you want to make this your career. Once you start giving them more attention rather than the game that you're playing, you're essentially building the foundation of your community. Having a community means that people watch your streams for you rather than the games that you play. Hey there. I'm sorry to keep interrupting you like this. I just realized so much stuff while I was in the editing process for this video. So, um, yeah. Just a side note on the interaction part of the video. There might be a chance that you are fairly new to streaming, and I mean like new new, and it can be hard for you to start interacting with new people in chat. And that's okay. Don't sweat too much about it. What I believe is talking or interacting with people in chat is a skill and any skill if you do it over and over again, if you do it consistently, you get better at it. Just ask, for example, like what their favorite color is or what they did for today or what they plan to do. Those are some basic stuff that you can start with if you're just having a hard time starting up a conversation in your chat. Anyway, <laughs> I think hopefully I don't get to interrupt you again with another one of these side notes. Back to the video. And tip number four, make use of the channel points on your stream. Now this ties in with the previous tip. 
because having channel point redeems add another level of interaction for your streams. If you go to your channel dashboard, you will see that there's already a bunch of channel point redeems set up for you by Twitch so you can get started. Though my tip is to add unique redeems to your channel. Maybe you have a hidden talent, or you can play an instrument, or you can do a funny voice. Having a unique redeem to your channel makes you stand out from all the other people in the category. Now, last but not the least is call to actions. One of the most valid parts of having a community is maintaining communication with the people who watch your streams. So how do you do that? Well, I usually do this at the end of my streams, but you can do this whenever you feel like or whenever you feel it is necessary. You can either tell them to join your Discord server so that they can be up to date whenever a stream is up, or you can tell them to go follow your other social media accounts to be posted on your other things. Or if you have a YouTube channel, you can definitely go and tell them to check it out so they can have some content to watch while you're not live. And there you go. Five simple tips to help you improve your streams this 2021. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down on the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Also, do let me know which one of these tips you think will help you the most as you grow your stream. Let me know what you guys want to see on the next video. And again, if you want to talk more about streaming stuff and, well, <laughs> literally anything under the sun, feel free to drop by on my streams. I'll put the link to that down below. So that's it for this video. I really hope that you guys learned something and enjoyed it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. We're going down, down, and I know that you're around.